Um, I'm not sure about this. I've never done anything like this before. Don't worry, sweetie. You're in good hands. I know what I'm doing. So what would you like to know? Um, you don't have to tell me everything. Just the general idea. Okay. How will it all turn out? Five cards. I see. Interesting. What? The elephant in the room. Be open to miracles. Okay. Your senses are bound. But you will meet a brilliant person who will change your life. Uh, what about these... Uh... I'm not sure I understand those. Like Rilke says, you must live your way to your answers. I've never really wondered what it would be like to lose part of myself. To not feel like a whole person ever again. Losing someone I love is one thing, but to go on living while part of me dies? Are you really blind? Tell me what most about seeing, and I'll give you five dollars. Fried chicken. Fried chicken? Fried chicken is three things. Taste, smell, sight. But seeing is the most important. To really eat it, you got to see it. Don't get me wrong. I still eat it. it just isn't the same. That makes sense. I'm Phineas. Friends call me Finn. I'm Norman. If I'd known I was gonna lose my eyesight, I'd have taken more pictures. Wonderful pictures. So I wouldn't forget what things look like. I'd like to buy a camera. Oh, well, I can certainly help you with that. I'd like to buy one that does most of the work for me. Um, I'm basically giving myself a week to figure it out. Well, it takes most people uh, years to master the art of photography. I want to take perfect photos, brilliant, unforgettable images. You know, I suggest you uh, look at photography books, Stieglitz and Strand. Uh, 
uh, the people at the Bauhaus are good too. The masters. Or you can hire a, a professional. I don't to want to take capture the, the, what they see. I want to create what I see. If you wanted to learn how to paint, you'd go to a museum and look at a Van Gogh, right? A good artist learns the rules of their medium before they get to break them. It's a process. I don't have much time for that. I see. Well, I, I, I don't know what to tell you. I can only sell you the tools here. What you do with them is up to you. Relax. The Cyclops is the top of the line. It, and like you mentioned, it'll do most of the work for you. It can even make movies. I'll take it. Hey, sis. How's it going? Well, I haven't heard from you in almost a month. I want to come by and see how you're doing. You okay? I'm going blind. much to say, really. What are you looking at? What are... <laughs> These old photos are great. You've got one of Mom here. It was just like Mom. I always say exactly the wrong thing at, at just the wrong time. You know Gainsborough got just as much pleasure from seeing violins as he did from hearing them? No. How about we go inside? I'll fix some dinner. I've got the rest of the night off, okay? Let's go. Taking pictures of bathroom fixtures. I'm being artistic. But let's be realistic. You can't take pictures when you're going blind. That's not the point. I want to be sure to remember what fried chicken and violins look like. In a toothbrush holder? Anyway, dinner's almost ready. Vegetarian though, no fried chicken. interested in photography. Why start now? The other day I heard kids playing out on the street. I thought, if I were going deaf too, what would I miss hearing? It's the beauty of everyday things we forget so easily. Don't want to forget them. I don't think I can do this, Jenna. I don't want to go blind. I don't want to lose it like Mom did.
Now you just stole my soul, right? You won't. You won't be like mom. You're stronger. You've had to be. I don't know how you can live in this house, though. Norman, you are not a photographer. I don't know how some striking images are gonna matter, really. There are better ways to deal with this. Come here. Too much to handle. Have you tried calling Flint? I'm sure he'd like to know about your eyesight. He doesn't you... want to see me. You know that's not true. He asks about you every time. Every time I see him. I'll be right back. Gwen, I'm here to see Jeremy Spiegel. Norman, I'm sorry, but Mr. Spiegel won't like it that you didn't make it. Gwen, let me know the moment Scarlet arrives. Absolutely, Mr. Spiegel. I promise this won't take long. Mr. Spiegel, I didn't make an appointment, but I promise this won't take a lot of your time. Well, whatever it is, I'm sure my fees are well beyond your budget, whoever you are. My name is Norman Wheeler. Uh, I'd like to hire you for a project to have in mind. I promise it will only take five minutes. No, 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 no. Scarlett wouldn't do that. All right, Mr. Wheeler, you've got two minutes. Go. I'm going blind. Uh, I'd like to see what I would look like as I age. See, who would be looking back at me in the mirror? The man I'll never see as the decades pass. Well, that's tragic, Mr. Wheeler. Uh, Norman, please. I'd like for your makeup artist to age me so I could see what I would look like in 10, 20, 40, 50 years from now. I like it. Take a break. You know, I've been thinking about doing something beyond my usual scope. You know, something without a bunch of fancy gizmos or strange backgrounds. Yeah, just you in a black coat, and white shirt, taking the shots where we can just see your face and nothing else. But I have to ask. Yes. What good are these photographs gonna do you when you can't even see them? Because I will have seen them. I'll be able to put them in front of someone's face and say, is this what I look like? Reference points? Exactly. I want to teach myself to remember. To make a deep impression I'll never forget. Yeah, but will you remember? When you've been blind for so many years? I don't know. It's worth a try. And they say you're the best. Any photographer can cheat light and time, but these photos are cheating blindness. When I was a kid, I was a terrible sneak when it came to gifts. I'd usually find my gifts beforehand and then pretend to be surprised Christmas morning. 
Now I guess I'll know what I'll be getting as the years pass. Uh, the lines on my face, I mean. It's interesting that you view it as a gift. Most of the men I work with would sell their souls to Dolce & Gabbana to look a little younger. I love seeing people transform under my fingertips. Now, how could anyone forget a face like that? Do you really think this is what I'll look like in 50 years? If you live that long, it's pretty damn close. You're very talented, Victoria. Thank you. You have a youthful spirit, old man. Is there something wrong? I thought this would have some sort of profound effect on me. No offense to your work, Victoria, but... I just feel ridiculous. Normally, a person wearing makeup looks like a person wearing makeup. Especially if it's thick and involved. You'll see a difference in the photos. Trust us, we know what we're doing. I see them too, but it's 2 a.m. Okay, I'll come. I've been working on your portraits all night. Do you know anything about developing film? Okay, it, it doesn't matter, right? The, I develop these. I always develop my own. That just, come on. I was putting down the first print, Norman, and do you want some coffee? You're gonna need a cup of coffee. Uh, I'm fine. All right. I was on the first portrait. And all I was expecting was to see Norman at 40, Norman at 50. But when I saw one was actually on that roll of film, I panicked. Panicked? Yeah, panicked. These are of you, Norman. Take a look. Look at this one. Look for yourself. There's no mistake here, Norman. All 78 of these shots are of you. I did not take that roll of film out of the camera until I came home. I can't believe it. These all look so familiar. It's inexplicable, Norman. I've lived my way into the answers. There's no reason to be afraid. My vision has been other things. It will become something else.
moment. It's, it's good to see you again. It's good to see you too.